Live from Columbia, South Carolina, WIS News 10 starts now. First at six, a one year old child was grazed by a gunshot in a drive by shooting on Saturday morning. According to the Kershaw County Sheriff's Department, this is the fourth shooting to happen within the last month. WIS reporter Naomi Popa joins us live now with more on the events of that morning. Naomi. Judy Greg, that child is doing well and has been released from the hospital, according to the sheriff. That boy fell victim to one of more than 10 shots fired that morning. Around 12:30 Saturday morning, the Kershaw County Sheriff's Office received a call about a baby that had been shot. After speaking with witnesses, it was discovered the drive-by shooting was intentional. Cars coming down the road, real slow, real careful, and uh, headlights out, trying to sneak up on the house. Uh, didn't start shooting until they were there at the house, so they went there knowing which house they were going to shoot. Just unfortunately, um, you know, a child was shot because of their 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 actions, their poor choices. Sheriff Lee Bone tells me investigators believe other adults in the home were likely the intended target and not the baby. According to Bone, the baby was grazed on the elbow and it was the only injury. Well, we got a child. That child, there's no way that child had anything to do to deserve being shot. So we got an innocent victim here that is unquestionably an innocent victim. So somebody needs to come forward, do the right thing, and. Uh, let us know what they know. Sheriff Bone says the community where this happened it doesn't see law enforcement often, but did say of the two murders that have happened this year in Kershaw County, one occurred just down the road. When you're shooting through a house, you have no idea who you're aiming at or what you're aiming at. You're just shooting at a house. You're just trying to get that that message out there. But when you go to somebody's house at you know after midnight, it's assumed they're asleep, and that's kind of cowardly to uh, take a stance like that. As of now, investigators have no leads, but they do believe there are multiple suspects involved in the shooting. Reporting live in Kershaw County, I'm Naomi Popa, WIS News 10.